First at 5.30, the latest on the attack in Orlando. Police and federal agents are sharing new information as their investigation continues, but refuse to use the name of the alleged killer or the terror organization he pledged allegiance to during the massacre. An estimated 50,000 people remembered the victims of the Orlando nightclub shooting during an emotional vigil over the weekend. The crowd heard messages of support from local Christian, Muslim, and Jewish leaders. Some political leaders also attended the vigil, including Florida Governor Rick Scott and Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. The vigil wrapped up with the crowd chanting, One Orlando, Orlando United. And take a look at this incredibly fitting photo. A massive rainbow appeared over the crowd right as the vigil got underway. A judge said he'll decide by Thursday the fate of the officer facing the most serious charges in the death of Freddie Gray. Gray was 25 years old when he suffered a fatal spinal injury last April. He passed away about a week after being arrested and placed in a prisoner van driven by officer Caesar Goodson. Charges against Goodson include involuntary manslaughter and reckless endangerment. Officers have said Gray was too unruly to secure with a seatbelt. But prosecutors said Goodson drove erratically, tossing Gray around in the van. And just in, the Justice Department announced no charges will be filed in the death of Kendrick Johnson. The DOJ cited insufficient evidence in the case. A medical examiner determined in 2013 that Johnson died of positional asphyxia after he was found dead in a rolled-up gym mat at his high school. Officials from the U.S. Attorney's Office met with Johnson's family today and informed them the investigation was finished. A new report reveals Hillary Clinton and outside groups backing her have spent over $23 million on TV ads in battleground states. The Trump campaign, by contrast, has not spent any money on ads in those same states. For comparison, in June of 2012, the Obama campaign and outside groups were outspending Mitt Romney and his allies by a 54 percent to 46 percent margin. We were on your side Thursday night as that wild storm ripped through our area, wreaking havoc and causing destruction. Now the Better Business Bureau wants to remind you to be smart when finding a contractor to clean up the mess. Allison Norlian spoke to the BBB today. She joins us now with what you need to know.